glory of God to conceal a matter. To search it out is the glory of kings. This is the Message to Kings podcast. my audio drama, The After Show. I hope everyone enjoyed the Nehemiah audio drama as much as we did putting it together. On January 11th, Dan Tamandel and myself uh, went to John Gillis's um, house to record the podcast. Um, in addition, um, Josh Taylor, he called in uh, via Skype, and then he ended up just kind of calling in by phone, and we recorded his voice. Um, and we had a great time doing it. Uh, also, there were other participants. Uh, there was the, the Harris family um, from Northern California, Cottonwood, California, I believe. Um, they actually sent in an audio file. Um, and then I had another neighbor, um, Russ Stewart, who recorded a file and gave it to us. Uh, and we're able to put all these files together. And, and I say all that, too, because uh, Madeline also recorded a section. And even if you may have caught um, Artaxerxes' his wife, that was actually Janelle. Um, but we merged all these files together, and we had a great time doing it. And when we recorded um, in January at John Gillis's house, uh, two doors down in Issaquah, Washington, John's a retired um, Seattle uh, uh, firefighter chief. And... Uh, And he's got this amazing voice, and he was the one who played Nehemiah, of course. I filled in as his brother um, and a couple other random characters. Um, Josh Taylor, of course, he knows how to do many, many voices, um, and he's incredibly gifted at that. And again, thank you, Josh, for for all your help. Thank you to everyone uh, who participated in this podcast. Thank you to the Harris family from California. Thank you to Russ. Uh, thank you to Dan for joining us that night, having a good time. To Madeline, to Janelle, that we really appreciate everyone's help and for this listener-supported Nehemiah podcast. And and I hope you guys were, you, you felt like you were more involved in the story, or you felt like you were, you connected with it better. You know that that there was this acceleration of of a conflict that was about to happen. And it was the Lord himself through Nehemiah that actually prevented the conflict from happening. And we're going to end this podcast with uh, kind of outtakes from our recording in January when we did it at John Gillis's house. Um, it was fun. I mean, you know, like I, I'm not a professional script writer, but so I, I had to put together a, an audio drama script for these guys. And, and it wasn't perfect. And there was mistakes and somehow John pulled them off. Um, and then another moment was hilarious is Josh calls in from the middle of nowhere um, between Portland and eastern Washington where he's driving. And he records. And what, at one point we thought we were still going and his phone disconnected. And <laughs> we couldn't help but crack up. There's all these things that happen. And uh, we had a great time doing the audio drama, recording it, and just hanging out together. So we'll end this podcast um, uh, with outtakes. And if you like the music that played in the background of the Nehemiah audio drama, special thanks to Ryan Ammon of the City of the Fallen for his use of tracks from his Divinus album on this podcast special. Um, I, we've always kind of liked movie trailer music or uh, dramatic audio uh, that they have in the movies and such. And you know, if, you, if you like the intro to this podcast... Uh, it's a, it's a form of it. Uh, we had some friends create. We had a friend create it for us this program. Um, but we were searching online for other other type of dramatic audio out there, and we found the City of the Fallen. Um, and it's a I don't want to say it's a band out there, but it's a a, a man named Rick Ammon, um, and he's a Christian. He's a believer, and 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 he and he truly loves Jesus, and he created the album Divinus, um, and we we contacted him because we liked his work so much um and he said yeah absolutely you can use it for this podcast special um so special thanks to rick ammon of the city of the fallen for his 
um, assistance um, as much as just allowing us permission to use his album De Venice on this podcast special. Uh, and here's a programming note um, for you guys. We're gonna we're gonna actually finish um, this Nehemiah audio drama. Then there's one more podcast, and it's gonna be the Malachi. Uh, podcast for the Old Testament, and then we actually finish the Old Testament. Uh, we're going to take a break through June. Um, I'm going to focus on finishing a book, um, and it's related to it's a uh, in many ways it's what we just covered the last six years, um, and it's a fictional account um, of where biblical history is headed. Um, and if you can pray for me, because writing a book is a lot harder than I expected. Um, and hope to have that done um, in sometime around June. I'm remembering a story of, uh, um, I believe it was uh, C.S. Lewis, if I'm not mistaken, and he was writing Narnia uh, for some family members that were young, and and he wrote, he made a note that um, I didn't realize writing a book would take so long, um, and by the time he was finished and it all edited and published. Uh, the kids he wrote it for were half grown. Um, so I've got to take a break. Uh, i got to focus and get this done. Um, and we'll resume the podcast uh, sometime around June. And then we're going to cover the intertestament time period first before we get to the New Testament. Uh, we want to cover everything from, uh, um, you know, the rise of Greece, the philosophers, Alexander the Great, um, the a- Antichias Epiphanes, uh, the Maccabean Revolt, the rise of Rome, uh, the Punic Wars, Julius Caesar, and the making of Israel to the time period of Jesus. So you got Herod, um, you've got even Pompey the Great, um, you've got a, an important city, but a very important city named Sardis, which is um, that becomes um, one of those cities where people become Roman citizens. Um, and the importance of Roman citizenship, which will be important in the time of Paul. Um, but we want to, uh, there's this time period in, of Herod where uh, Jerusalem is actually refaced. Uh, it becomes a true city on a hill, uh, though it's extremely dark time period. And the architecture and the wonders that he builds um, sets, the, sets the physical geography that Jesus steps foot on. So we want to spend some time there as well. Uh, so we're going to enjoy the intertestament time period. And we want to um, take our time and set the true context for when Jesus is born. And we do the New Testament time period. We end the episode with outtakes from our Nehemiah audio drama recording. Nehemiah, don't do this. Release me. You can do it. <laughs> Go with the steel of the king. With the... You have that. What was that? His phone dropped or this thing did. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So much for that prayer session, gentlemen. <laughs> the Lord has a sense of humor. You have to call him back. That's the sure. dial one. Oh, that's great. You can hit redial. Let's try it. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> you can laugh at this. So it must have been him. Uh, I mean, if his phone's out, a, we'll just figure this out. Okay, there you go. That looks good. I love cheese and crackers. You'll be Artaxerxes quite soon at the rate we're at. <laughs> this is your king. <laughs> Good. Good heavens. Nehemiah, look. They only have three stones left to put in place with a southern extension of the fountain gate. Then it's complete. You want to redo that? Probably. <laughs> um, I heard stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> Re-
released me. You can do it. <laughs> We've accomplished a great thing here. Lord, thank you for your favor and for strengthening our hands. Remember me, O oh God. Remember us with favor, O oh God, for what we did here. Remember me, O oh God. That was fun. You guys are great. Gluttons, right. for, gluttons for punishment. That's all we are. Did you enjoy that, Dan? Yeah, that's good. I yeah. say we go on strike. <laughs> <laughs> Now's our time. God. Josh, you're amazing. Pulling over in the middle of nowhere. Re the Religious Communications Next time Network. Double pay. We got Hank Azaria there, don't we? <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, God bless you, and have a great evening, and it's been all the weekend. I'm going to Charlie Mike on to the house. Yeah, thanks, Josh. It's so much fun. Be careful. I no, appreciate it. And uh, I'll let you know, Brett, when I'm up there next. Okay, cool. So that uh, we can link up. You got it. Please do. And be sure to see a psychologist about that multiple personality <laughs> disorder. <laughs> Don't stay in character, oh, yeah. for God's sakes. <laughs> Especially with that one voice. Oh, hello. It, it's going to be expensive, one voice at a time. <laughs>